I was like, those are not tiny steps. It's just steep, but. Alright, he said. Garage. Renovate this to flip it. Uh, or you want to renovate it to burr it out, buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. You're going to get a good exit price, a solid ARV, and a ton of rent. Cool. It's weird that the gas is still on. Oh! oh. Even better than a window. <laughs> this place is cool. Ooh. Spooky. Welcome to the Investment Properties sales show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't wise to you giving it to you straight if y'all like bird deals you're gonna love this one okay 1020 harrison street sandusky ohio all right coming to you guys at the freaking basement price 34.9 now Technically, it's a 2-1, uh, but it's all uh, torn up, and you got to kind of start fresh. And I do believe we got enough square footage here uh, to go ahead and add an additional bedroom. On top of that, you have, like, an extremely uh, large amount of garage space and whatnot, right? So that's a little deceiving, okay? Uh, so by the end of the day here, whether you want to renovate this to flip it, uh, or you want to renovate it to burr it out, buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, you're going to get a good exit price, a solid ARV, and a ton of rent, okay, because of all the things you have, right? Like, don't look at this as like a 2-1 of like a duplex 2-1, okay? Totally different ball game here, right? Uh, you're going to have to do a big old rehab, though, right? Uh, just looking at it, where we're at from here, I mean, we're talking – in the ballpark uh, of like 50K, right? Uh, possibly a little bit more than 50, but you're going to be generally speaking uh, in the $50,000 range, okay? But here's where it gets good, right? After you spend the 50K to put it all back together, get it sell ready or rent ready, you're looking at an ARV around 150000 in a market rent to solid quality cash paying tenants of like 1350 right? This is a solid neighborhood. You're right over by the lake. You got the islands. Like this is just, this is good stuff, right? There's a lot of money to be made, okay? Now, from here, what you want to do, if you want to tour the property uh, and put together your own line-by-line -line bid before you submit an offer, that's totally fine. Just send us an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. And if you reach out to us prior to 5 o'clock, we'll get you in there the same day. You reach out to us after 5 o'clock, we'll get you in there the next business day. Or for my out-of-state investors, if you're one of those investors that wants Holton Wise to do the rehab, uh, so you can go ahead and burr this sucker out, that's totally fine as well. We could do your property management. We can do your rehab okay now if you're looking to get a line by line bid from holton wise uh contracting more information on how and when you can get a specific line by line bid from our team is going to be in our fac okay but as of right now uh prior to you purchasing the property where you're at right now i'm going to ballpark that renovation at about 50k right you're going to need to do a new roof you're going to need to do a new furnace you're going to need to do a new hot water tank okay you're going to have to probably paint the outside of it do all the normal cosmetic stuff in the inside. Honestly, 50 might even be a little bit light, right? We might be trending closer to like 60, 65. But I'm just going off of uh, the video tour right now, right? For a rehab this big, uh, there's a lot of leg work that's going to be involved in actually putting together the final bid and actually getting that work done, right? So it ain't just something that you're just going to be able to get for free or anything of that nature, right? So you're either going to want to tour it yourself or check out our fact to go through the process of how we're going to do it. But then after that, like I said, you got options, man. Probably sell this bad boy for around 150 or you burr the sucker out. Uh, go ahead, get an ARV of about 150 refile your money back out, get a tenant in there at 1350 Any way you slice it, this bad boy is a banger of a deal. So what we're going to need from you guys after you've done the level of due diligence that you're comfortable with is we're going to need cash offers. Now, conventional financing will be great for your refinance, and if you don't have those lenders, I will get those lenders to you. But up front, we're going to need cash offers or potentially hard money or private money 
uh, lending off uh, offers with a hard money or private money loan. If you guys need private money lenders or hard money lenders, just let me know. We have those for you guys as well. They prefer to work with U.S. nationals, but we do have a few sources for my out-of-country folks. Although, just so you know, the terms are generally not going to be as good as folks in the United States are going to get. But either way, we slice it, folks. This is a solid deal. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, this is a nice little uh, globe, though. This place is like a time machine, bro. Yeah, man. Cool. It's weird that the gas is still on. Like, why wouldn't you just stop paying the gas, too? Well, they took his meter, his electric meter, so. Basement sweet, Vince. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. If it was finished, look at all those outlets. There's Jeez, fucking dude. five outlets in here. And it's just cracked ceiling and shit. Oh, it looks like a fucking crossbow. Look at that, dude. Getting slim, I can like walk around these places. What do we got here? Any goodies? Any old school goodies? Looks like connectors. That's fucking cool. Pack of marbles. This place. It's got everything. <laughs> Get over there, get that hole in the wall. Probably could have fit these boards together a little. You probably could have just laid this one down. Easier to walk. That's not too bad. Can of raid. Yeah, I wonder if there's like pest issues. Yeah, I imagine there's like mouse issues here. You can fucking see into the living room. Yeah. Well, at least they took out all the old knob and tubes, so a lot of the work, if you're buying this place, is outside of the expensive shit, is done. I like the layout and shit, too. Yeah. I'll get all the old foundation. What do you think is in there, dude? I think it's just a window. I see something like Oh! Um. Oh, even better than a window. <laughs> a hole. A little porthole, dude. Emergency exit. Yep. Hell yeah. This guy had a slide. What, uh, uh -oh. what did you say about the basement? I think you just pull it up. Oh, yeah. Sunk down some. That's okay. There's tons of drains down there. I'm going to go, like, down. The gravity will do it for you, bro. You can piss up all you want. It's still going down. <laughs> Gravity eventually. No matter what you do, it's going down. Alright. Some tiny little steps, dude. T those are not tiny. Oh, you mean like the distance between them is the small? Fucking, yeah. Gotcha. I was like, those are not tiny steps. Dude, they're steep, but. Tiny little this place is cool, man. Buy it. I mean, it's got potential. I kind of want to see. You it. buy it. I'll buy it with you. <laughs> I want to see this back. Uh, the fuck you buy. <laughs> Ain't got no damn electricity. Red. <laughs> Probably should upgrade and get some deadbolts here, though. <laughs> it would help. Yeah. It does make it hard. I keep the street toughs out. Gotcha. Saying dusty street Jerry saying dusky street toughs. <laughs> They're just in here trying to. They're always just horsing around. Just trying to get a shower, dude. That's too soon for that joke, I think. No, he's been away for a while. So. Oh, okay. Door needs to be, you know, doored. Oh, look at that untapped Modelo right there, dude. We meant for lunch. Damn, dude. This 
place is cool. Ooh. Spooky. Cool sink. It's kind of weird to me that that... Is this other room over here a bathroom? I don't know. No, I mean... It's so the only room. bathroom is on the second floor? Yeah, I think so. That's odd. I don't see any plumbing right through it. Yeah, you're right. You're right, it's just a bedroom. Oh, God! There's like no beam there. I do see a door, but I think it's just for this closet. Yeah, it's probably a bedroom closet. I can take it if you want. I'm sure. You can't say that in man. You're good. Homophobic. I didn't say anything homophobic. What I meant to say was. <laughs> what I had meant to say. Jesus. Oh, shit, there's no floor. There's like no clearance down here. No. He said it is kind of. There's only two. Yep. Yeah. Sorry for this absurd angle, but it's too tiny for there to be multiple people down here. A little sewer stack running here. The dork. Ooh, we got a little treasure trove. What y'all think's in there? Kills rats, a couple little bottles. What's in this bottle? What is that? Looks like an old medicine bottle. Cool shit down here. Basin's cool. It's got an old. All right, to the garage. Yeah, is this this isn't part of this property, is it? Yeah, these both are. Oh shit! That's what I'm saying. I want to see what's in here. Double, 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 double. I'm doing a little work. Be me in, Scotty. Just a little work shed or a third bedroom. Hey! I mean, honestly, bro, if you just fucking connected these two structures. Old stove pipe outlet right there. I, so, I mean, was like I think thing. somebody was living here so, at some point. That's cool. He's got a lot of wood saved up. And then he said. That should be Look at that out. Look at that switch. <laughs> you just don't see those anymore. I love it. Okay. All right, you said. Garage. Yeah, it's trying to get unattached. So I guess we don't even need him to really get his keys. They're all handle locks. Yeah, I, w I didn't yeah, know. I, I, thought, I thought it was a fucking double. He said he was just going to hang out down the street and come back in a little bit. So I think if we just take off, it's fine. Yeah, it sounds like he yeah. across the street. I mean, he left the fucking front window open and I was going to break into it anyway. So it's a good thing he showed up. You want to report that crime again on camera? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to do a legal b &E. Yo, self-report? I said I'm supposed to be here. Alright, this one, the handle's locked here. Okay. I did not lock the uh, door. 
I think we could probably lock that handle and just do that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.